Hello, everybody, and welcome to another update from Crypto Gossip. My name is Adam, your host. Tonight, Parcel announced that their point leaderboard is finalized for this trilogy of these three seasons that they had in anticipation of this token launch coming up here in the next week or so. Really exciting time, and as you know, uh, on the channel, I've been really heavily involved in Parcel and getting involved back in December, and so it's exciting to see how this will play out. I'm also an owner of the HOA NFT, and I know some of you have joined me on the journey, so we'll look at this today and how this all played out. You can view the points and see where this all played out, and so in, in the allocations and the bonuses and the boost that were received here, but you can see going to the points page that the initial allocation of Parcel is almost here, Season 3 of Points has come to an end, and to get prepared for future incentives by joining the Perpetual Points program, which is coming soon. You can see that with me, I ended up putting about $2,000 worth of liquidity into this over this uh, lengthy period of time. And as a result, I ended up with about 846,000 points going into this update. And then when I saw this refresh tonight, it did give me now over a million points because of these boosts that I did receive. So exciting to see where this all played out. I was at rank 13,400 or so going into tonight with about 245,000 accounts. And now that boost has gotten me up to 11,264 in my ranking. So excited to see that I'll be in that top 5% or so. Should be really interesting to see what that does from a token allocation standpoint. And so if you look here at these points boosts, I did get a 40% boost here of this snapshot boost that on April 8th, I maintained my TVL or total value locked and or trading activity within parcel and held the HOA NFT throughout points season two and three. I got my 5% boost for, uh, for uh, signing up as a referral link for somebody else. And I got a 20% boost for having an HOA NFT, which came with a lot of the, the rewards and perks for that here. So it should be a pretty good one. And you can see that the announcement came out on their Discord at the same time that the first snapshot for the initial parcel distribution was taken on April 1st. The final loyalty consistency snapshot was taken on April 8th, so yesterday. To qualify, the user's TVL or total value locked had to remain at or above the level it was at on February 23rd. Points earned in wallets that participated in any ineligible activity such as Delta neutral trading, brazen and substantial civil activity, and unreported self-referrals have been forfeited. That may have been one of the reasons why I climbed the rankings uh, as much as I did. All points have now been adjusted for the aforementioned variables and boosts have been applied for those that made the loyalty consistency snapshot. The criteria for the loyalty, and I'll kind of highlight this here so you can see what I'm reading here. The criteria for the loyalty or consistency boost are as follows. Season three base boost, you met the TVL and or trading activity threshold for season three. There was a mid-tier boost if you were uh, if you met the season three base and a season three HOA snapshot. There was a higher boost if you had the season three plus the boost of meeting the TVL threshold for both seasons two and seasons three. And then the max boost was season three plus HOA snapshot for seasons two and three. Uh, they had some ineligible activity that they talked about here and kind of how this will all play out. And so what now? The updated leaderboard will be the general basis for the initial distribution of parcel to early parcel adopters, points holders, Parcel will communicate a detailed distribution methodology ahead of the initial claim. Note that the vast majority of users will receive an allocation approximately in proportion to their respective points balance leaderboard positioning. Also note that decentralization is an important factor for ecosystem health, and as such, some modest adjustments are required. And what they're thinking is this is going to be a hybrid between a tier-based and a linear-based where if you look at the rankings, the, the top two people had a ton of points, much more than the others. So they probably will not have it be a linear where it's just the points divided by the total points, but some sort of a tier based, you know, kind of a partial tier hybrid model here. Um, so Parcel Limited plans to launch the initial claim site early next week, at which point the ecosystem participants, including early adopters, eligible HOA holders and eligible Mad Lads NFT holders, will be able to see their specific parcel allocations Given the recent Solana network congestion, Parcel believes it's prudent to initiate the claim process immediately following the expected network upgrades. It has been quite congested on the Solana blockchain. In April 15th, there's supposed to be an upgrade to the network that's going to be something that will allow for a little bit smoother processing of some of these types of claims here. There is going to be a perpetual points 
where season one is currently underway the leaderboard will go live after parcel limited's initial distribution of parcel rest assured that perpetual points are accumulating via on-chain activity as we speak so kind of in summary here um, the points trilogy leaderboard is finalized incorporating loyalty consistency boosts and docking ineligible activity the initial distribution of parcels coming soon full allocation details will be shared early next week and then perpetual points is starting up in terms of this next season and the first season of perpetual points will end in late q2 culminating in another distribution so i plan on holding on to everything that i have there's going to be some staking of the tokens there's going to be staking for hoa nft holders i'm going to participate in so i can take advantage of this uh, this perpetual points season with another distribution of parcel tokens it'll be interesting to see what this results in in terms of my token allocation it'll be interesting to see what the token uh, goes live at and what kind of a overall you know airdrop this means for me i think this is going to be one of the biggest airdrops i've ever ever participated in but i've also spent a lot of money to both put liquidity into it buy the nft i bought for about fifteen hundred dollars back in uh, late you know kind of late um in, in the year early early this year um, so I think it was actually early February. Now that I think about it, it's a little bit late in that one. But overall, I think, you know, just going to be one of those that I'm excited about seeing how this all plays out. So I hope that this will end up being a big one for all of us. I know I had several referrals as well, and hopefully you'll be able to benefit as well. So I wanted to make sure you saw this update from Parcel for today. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel for this type of content. I'll keep you posted on this Parcel airdrop as we go along in the next couple of weeks and this token goes live. Thanks and have a good rest of the day and the week.